Okay, I've been playing about with the back lines of a Mothra here. Um, back lines reach, tarp kicks off. And if you look down at the bottom left there, you, you kind of see the effect. This is looking from front on. And basically what I'm doing is you imagine a line run along this load path line, which has, if we zoom in, um, so you've got your, your line running parallel to this load path line. And it goes through, say, a, a loop, a kink, a join um, here. And on the line, it has, say, a, a hoop, one, to, one side holding the right-hand edge, back edge, one, uh, one side holding the left-hand back edge. And as this line that runs parallel to the load line is pulled um, to the right of the Mothra, it would um, create the structure, uh, it would make the structure do this, where the U-shape would run through here. Um, so there's a U-shape on the line going through the, the thread, it, it going through the hole here, one end up to there, one end up to there, um, at each step. So there'd be one mounted here, one mounted here, one mounted here. So you've got a U-shape on this line that runs along the load path line, uh, going through a hole here. Um, hopefully give you some sort of control of the pitch of each individual kixel like that. Now, that's obviously going to pinch this line here and there and the load path line there. And that's going to be fairly taut because of the collective tension on here. But um, I think assuming that the, the lines don't stretch, it would work. But not sure. It's uh, it looks bloody tempting to try it. I know. I think on a small, on a small scale uh, version, this this would be a great test to to go ahead with. Let us know what you reckon. Cheers.